Okay, this video is going to explain how to identify the decimal label with the letter on the scale shown here. So the first thing you need to do is count up how many spaces there are um, between the 0 and the 1. So I'm going to label them so we can see there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. There's eight spaces in between. Basically that what that means um, is that each time you move along you've moved another eighth, one eighth. So each space is worth one eighth. Now the A represented here is right in the first spot. So that one, since it's in the first spot, is one over eight. Well one over eight we need to write this as a decimal, so we're going to divide. 8 doesn't go into 1, so we're going to add a couple zeros here and a decimal. Make sure to put your decimal up here. 8 goes into 10 one time. Subtract, bring down another 0. 8 goes into 20 twice. 2 times 8 is 16. Remainder of 4. We need one more zero to get 40. A goes into 45 times evenly. So A is equal to 0.125. Now let's consider another letter just in case it comes up. Um, so suppose that it gave you the letter B and B was right here. I wrote B in red there. Um, oops, that's not what I meant to do. All right, B is count, you know, A is um, on the first spot, so then I'm going to label A1 and then 2. Now we're not counting spaces this time, we're counting the dashes. 3, 4, 5, 6. So B is 6 over 8 because it's six spots over. So if you divide eight into six, I'm gonna run out of room if I do it that way. Eight into, and let's do six point, let's give it some zeros. All right, eight goes into 67 times, which is 56, and then 45 times. So B is six eighths, which is also 